What is up guys, Rick Kakalakis here. Thank you so much for stopping by, and today we are going to be going over the five new weapons added to Destiny 2 with Shadow Keep and Season of the Undying that you absolutely need to grind for. These are standouts in PvP or PvE and often both, and definitely should be where you're directing your attention if you're wondering what activities you should be doing doing. Now notably for this list we are excluding both ritual weapons and exotic weapons because they have set roles and you know it would fill the entire list because who doesn't want to get the brand new exotics. So let's get started here with the first legendary randomly rolled weapon on this list and that is at number five the Tranquility Legendary Kinetic Snipe Rifle. This is one of the brand new Moon set weapons that you can get from collecting the right essence by doing activities on the moon and then completing that essence, turning it into the Lectern of Enchantment and specifically getting this weapon. So this is very farmable. Now why is this on the list? Well, stats wise, it's the 90 rounds per minute damage archetype for sniper rifles, and that is the exact same as the very popular PvP sniper, the Beloved. And that's also good in PvE as well. And this weapon, yeah, it's good in both aspects of the game. And we can really see that when we look at its perks. If you're going for a PvP role, getting something like No Distractions and Snapshot is going to be pretty darn good. However, the actual effectiveness of no distractions has recently come into question. I did some testing with it on a scout rifle, basically noticed no difference, but that's another story. The real main reason it's on this list is because it is the second snipe rifle in the entire game that can get the perk firing line, which boosts precision damage when standing next to two or more teammates. So in a damage scenario against really any sort of powerful boss, you're going to be standing together in a bubble in a well and firing line is going to be absolutely nuts. The only other sniper, which was the best damage output sniper in the game that can get this perk, is the Soul Survivor, and it's an energy weapon. So the fact that you can now get this incredibly powerful perk on a kinetic snipe rifle means that you have a bunch more build possibilities. You can't use the Recluse and the Soul Survivor at the same time, two extremely powerful weapons. You can use the Recluse and this. So because of that, because of the build possibilities, because of its incredibly rare and powerful perk spawns, this weapon finds itself on this position in the list. In any event, it is time to move on to number four, which is the Adhortative Legendary Energy Pulse Rifle from the Vex Offensive slash Vex Invasion activity. Yet again, this is a very farmable weapon. You can go to Ikora, specifically grab the Pulse Rifle Bounty, and after getting 50 Pulse Rifle kills on Vex and defeating one of the main bosses in the Vex Offensive activity, you will get this every single time. So again, if you do want one of the god rolls, it's a lot more achievable than just crossing your fingers and hoping. Well, you're kind of still doing that, but you're gonna get this weapon a lot more often. So why is this here? Well, looking at the stats, it belongs to the 390 rounds per minute pulse rifle archetype. That is the exact same as the Bygones Gambit Pulse Rifle, one of the absolute kings of the PvP meta, and honestly not too shabby in PvE either. This weapon is falling into some great categories right off the bat. Now looking at its perks, things are frankly just gonna get even better. So, we have the opportunity to get the absolute god roll of Feeding Frenzy, getting a kill will drastically increase reload speed, combined with multi-kill clip. This is going to allow you, and I recently, after grinding my butt off, got this roll, so you're gonna see some PvP footage in the background, but this is going to allow you to get a pretty easy kill with a pulse rifle in a favorable damage archetype, and then be able to super quickly reload and engage the next enemy with a colossal damage bonus. And because of this weapon's archetype, it goes from a three burst kill 
to a two burst kill. And once you're two bursting people with a 390 RPM pulse, you are, your time to kill is absolutely phenomenal. You are beating out pretty much everything else. And by the way, multi-kill clip restacks itself, which means you can get a kill, reload, get a super-powered kill, reload, get another super-powered kill, reload, and just keep the chain going, absolutely decimating any enemy unfortunate enough to find himself in your sights. Now, although that's the absolute best role in my opinion, the fact that you can also get Rampage and that does a decent impression of that same scenario with multi-kill clip, still boosting your damage, letting you reload very fast when you need to, that's pretty darn powerful too. Now, it is time to move on to number three, and that is the Love and Death Legendary Power Grenade Launcher. Just like the Tranquility, this is another moon weapon. So get the right essence, complete it, and you can keep getting this weapon again and again until you get the God Roll. And the God Roll, oh, it's something else. But first, we gotta look at this weapon's stats. So this does belong to the 150 rounds per minute archetype for grenade launchers. Now that's important because that archetype is the best one you're looking for in PvE for damage output. It does the most damage. And currently, stuff like the Swarm of the Raven exists in that archetype and was the undisputed king of damage output for grenade launchers. Well, this is actually better. It's not often, it is not often in Destiny 2 where we get a clearly better version of the best in slot, but this is legitimately the new best in slot for PvE grenade launchers. And the reason being is, well, let's look at the perks. This can get the extremely important spike grenade perk, which is going to increase damage on a direct impact. Every, you know, high damaging grenade launcher needs that. It can also get field prep for more ammunition in reserve, essential in those long damage phases, and then Unlike the Swarm of the Raven and the Outrageous Fortune from Vanguard and all the other 150s, this can get the pretty new grenade launcher perk, Full Court. The further you are from a target, the more damage you're going to do with your grenades. Now the damage bonus turns out to not be that insane, but a little bit of a damage bonus is better than no damage bonus, and that's kind of what this perk does. On the Swarm of the Raven, the best thing you were looking to get for that second perk category was probably something like Rampage. But that would require you shooting other targets, like shooting some Thrall, and then getting that Rampage bonus for just a little bit, and then damaging the big bad raid boss. And, you know, if you're thinking about the Galran encounter, depending on if you're blessed or not, you might not even be able to damage those Thralls. So full court is just going to give you a straight damage improvement over some of the highest damaging weapons in the entire game. This is the new best in slot PvE grenade launcher if you get spike grenades, field prep, full court. But we've got to move on to the number two spot and that goes to the Sacred Provenance Legendary Kinetic Pulse Rifle. This is from the brand new Garden of Salvation raid. And if you're thinking, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Well, genuinely, it's a lot harder to farm for than the other weapons on the list, but I've got you covered with my complete raid guide. Check it out. It's more doable than you may think. All right, now looking at the stats, this is a 450 RPM pulse rifle and it belongs to the aggressive burst, like the four round burst archetype with other weapons like the Blast Furnace. And the Blast Furnace has already proven itself to be one of the best PvP and frankly PvE weapons out there. It's not too shabby in either. Now this weapon's stats aren't exactly as good as the Blast Furnace to be perfectly honest, but its perks have some really powerful options. Mainly we have either Outlaw, which is going to boost your reload through the roof if you get a precision kill not too hard with a pulse rifle or much better rapid hit which says rapid precision hits temporarily increase stability and reload speed well the thing about that perk on this type of weapon is that one burst of four rounds 
is a bunch of rapid precision hits if you just get one burst to the head. So you're already proccing rapid hits. So you're gonna reload blindingly fast and get a massive boost to stability, which things like Feeding Frenzy and Outlaw don't provide. And also, unlike the other two, you don't even need to get a kill to proc it. Now you combine that with, in the second perk category, Kill Clip. Reloading after a kill grants a damage bonus, and you have got one disgusting combo. So proc rapid hit almost immediately on a pretty easy kill because you're in a favorable archetype. This pulse rifle can kill in two bursts regardless if you land all of your headshots. And then you're gonna be absolutely destroying everyone with two bursts with kill clip active. And then you can kind of do what you can also do with the adhortative, which is just get a kill, reload extremely quickly because of rapid hit, get that damage bonus, get a super easy kill, reload again extremely quickly and keep that damage bonus every time you're getting a kill and reloading and you just chain uncontrollably, you snowball through enemies and yeah, you can do some pretty disgusting things with that roll on this weapon. The reason this is further up the list than the Adhortative is because it comes with substantially better stats in terms of range and stability. The Adhortative may need a good barrel in order to function well on console, for example. This is a little bit less dependent on that. It's just naturally going to be pretty good as long as you get that perk combo. However, it is time to move on to the number one weapon I would recommend going after, and that is the Ancient Gospel Legendary Energy Hand Cannon, again from the Garden of Salvation raid. Now, this thing is number one on the list, well, for quite a few reasons. This is an incredibly, incredibly powerful weapon, importantly, for both PvE and PvP. It's honestly got something for everyone, and the best part is that it's almost hard to get a bad roll, a bad version of this gun. So one run through the raid, one drop of this gun, and you're probably going to have a functioning good version of it. Now let's get to why, firstly by looking at its stats. So, very good stats overall, nearly tying the Menagerie hand cannon, the Awstringer, which is one of the best PvE and PvP hand cannons in the game. It's a 140 round per minute archetype, which is one of the better ones in PvP. 150s are still king on PC specifically, but you can definitely make the argument for 140s on console, and 140s certainly aren't shabby on PC either. This is definitely still, I would say, a favorable archetype. And look at that recoil, 100 recoil direction, it kicks straight up, very easy to control, very beginner friendly for a hand cannon. But moving on to the perks, these are where things get kind of insane. So, if you do want a PvP roll, you do have the option to get things like a full bore barrel or a hammer forged barrel to increase the range. Combine that with accurized rounds to even further increase the range. And then we have just a smorgasbord of fantastic perks. We have rapid hit that we talked about earlier and on a hand cannon where you're always going for precision hits. It's, as you can possibly imagine, excellent. We have outlaw as well equally excellent. We also have Slide Shot. Sliding partially reloads this weapon's magazine and temporarily boosts range and stability. One of the better perks in PvP, allowing you to connect at even further ranges as long as you slide, which everyone is often doing anyways. You also have Eye of the Storm. This weapon becomes more accurate and boosts handling as your health gets lower. That's very good for a PvP roll on specifically console because it's going to counteract the insane bloom hand cannons can get. So any one of these perks is frankly pretty good. And the second perk category is the same. We have Kill Clip, obviously good. We have Range Finder if you want like that max range PvP roll. We have Dragonfly, precision kills create an elemental damage explosion. 
And lastly, we have Swashbuckler. This weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon. Basically, you're going to get a damage bonus every time you get a kill up to times 5, but if you get a melee kill, it goes right to times 5. So if you are a very aggressive player who likes to get in there, Swashbuckler is going to allow you to just get a melee kill and have a hand cannon that's dealing absurd damage. In fact, with Swashbuckler times 5, this can 2-hit kill low armor opponents. So, a PvP god roll would be a good ballistics and then accurized rounds, plus either rapid hit or slide shot or eye the storm if you're on console, or potentially Outlaw combined with Kill Clip or honestly Rangefinder or Swashbuckler. Like any one of those would make an arguable god roll, an arguable fantastic PvP roll. Again, it's hard to go wrong with this weapon. But for a PvE, well, frankly, those would also go quite well. Rapid hit, kill clip, rapid hit, swashbuckler, you know, outlaw, swashbuckler, or kill clip. Those would both be, all all, I should say, be fantastic in a PvE environment as well. But what I'm looking for is going to be outlaw plus, or rapid hit, plus dragonfly to create the fate bringer roll from destiny one to allow your hand cannon to kill a single enemy and spread its damage across multiple enemies solving the main problem of hand cannons which is when you're swarmed by a bunch of enemies and you've got to kill one at a time it can be somewhat difficult and don't forget you've got dragonfly spec as a perk in the game to even improve the damage and the explosive radius of dragonfly so that is another phenomenal PvE role you're going for. The fact that this weapon has so many good choices, it's the best energy 140 hand cannon in the entire game because of this, because of all these opportunities for great rolls, and because of the stats, its range is going to be way higher than most of the other energy 140s. Yeah, this thing is definitely deserved at number one, and it's definitely worth going for. Not to mention you combine all of that with the fact that hand cannons are being favored in this current season. You can put on an enhanced hand cannon loader mod for just one point of energy. If you're doing nightfalls or other activities that need barrier piercing or unstoppable rounds, hand cannons can get them. So yeah, this is number one. Guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed, found this informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at RickKakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.